Hello there, everybody! My name is Chedorak, and welcome back to Outlast 2. Now, the last time when we finished this game up, we sort of ran into two different groups of people. We have these Christians, as they call themselves, and these heretics. As oh, there's a battery. Um, so, they, they referred to Lin as Mother, and there seems to be a very definite connection of you know, moms and chi the children. So that's the whole reason we came here was to was to investigate something like that. So, what that connection is, I'm not sure, but I'm sure we will find out. Um, it's very difficult. The AI has become. That was as good as a Yoda reference as you're gonna get in a series like this. But it's very difficult to maneuver. Hide in the barrel. Hide in the barrel. Oh, hi there. I, I don't even know how to freaking. I just got caught. I just got caught. Hi. Ow. Oh, run, and we're running. Now we're running. Now we're speed running through this. There was a guy I just tripped over. All right. So this this is where we have to be. It's just how I freaking Oh, now you want to make the crouch work. Where what happened to my camera? Oh, there it is. All right, I need this. All right. Now crouch. We're just doing it. Crouch. He won't crouch now. Why, why won't you crouch there, pal? Why, why won't you do it? I need to crouch to get into that freaking water. Or so I can get around it, rather. But he's not freaking doing it. He was just doing it a second ago. And that's how I need to get around this bridge, I think. Is to actually swim underneath of it. I mean, that's what I want to do anyway. He just won't crouch. There we go. All right. Uh, can I go underneath this bridge? That's what I really want to do. And it seems to be working. He will. Oh, is that a person there? I can't tell. I need to breathe. Alright. Let's go over here. Did we do it? Seems like we did. See if there's anyone in here. Doesn't seem like it. Close that door behind us. I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot more intense than the last game. Alright, so crouching is actually control. I've been pressing C this whole time. Alright, so they're back in the water now. Shit! That was really dumb, wasn't it? Oh, that was dumb. I didn't expect him to freaking shoot the thing up. Sounds like it's getting a little calmer, though. Can they see this light? The horror of our children, it is upon us. 
How, like, how are you even supposed to tell if they're gone? Oh, this Seriously, this is... it's freaking scary now. I literally do not know when to fucking leave. Sounds like they're still in here. Is there something I can do? Alright, so they're gone. Alright, so we gotta watch out for that guy. I think. Oh, we should probably close that. That probably would have been smart to do the first time, huh? Alright, let's get back into the water. Is this what we need to do? do I, I need to get through this house. That's what I need. I need to get into this house. Oh, gosh! <laughs> Where are we now? We're in a classroom. What the hell? Oh, we're back at the school. I'm dreaming. What? I wonder what the. I'm out of my fucking mind. What the correlation is between the two? I have to reload it here. That's terrible. Oh, so I'm recording this. Oh, there's a note here. I'm sorry I have to do this. You should have loved me. You should have helped me. Jesus, forgive me. I don't know what to do. I'm so, so sorry, Jessica. I remember this. He says he remembers this. Why is that? There's no picture. Just noise, but I saw it. I know I saw it. That's not good. There's no picture. Okay. That's weird. That music coming from. Got here. And when we were. Oh, this couldn't get any worse. The biggest nightmare of all! Going back to fourth grade. That door's locked. It's jammed. Are there things that can kill me in this reality? Responsibility? I could kill you. I guess. Is that you, Slendy? Am I supposed to go near you? What is happening? Oh, the loudness in my ear holes? Ooh. I did not enjoy that. So if anything, I think Slendy can kill you. 
They think that was his attempt to murder me. Snowing outside. It, the, the footage keeps getting really weird. Um, Slendy? Don't know where Slendy went. Gonna make it to the exit, though. Gonna make it. Totes gonna make it. To the outside world. Oh, it's snowing. It's very difficult to see, though. I don't even know if I'm going the right way, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, which way do we go? Just anywhere? Is this even the right way? Oh. How convenient! Oh! And just like that, we're back in reality. Okay. Fine. That's fine. Oh, what are you? The outsider. No, thought they killed you, didn't they? No. Someone's saying yet. That's new. Well, they'll do it if they find you out here. Come on. Who are you? My name's Ethan. But I mean... Hi, Ethan. Are you one of them? And which side are you on? You mean why ain't I trying to kill you? I've been... Unborn. Some too much to keep the faith. But you're not one of those other ones. The... The, the heretics. Didn't say squat when my wife got skull. Had to get cast out. Didn't complain with nah. Pressed himself with my enemy. She not but 15. I'm sorry. But when he said my grandson, baby, he put in her, was my the antichrist, and I had to slit her belly and kill the child. God. There definitely seems to be a thing. Ugh. Confusing story elements, as always. I gave her a chance to run. Spun them in get some stories. I've been gifted with talk my whole life. You probably noticed. Jane Doe. Sorry. Your daughter. She was eight months pregnant. Blonde hair, cut like a boy's. Yeah. Well, what do you know? You seen her? It's why we came here. Is she all right? Please, Mister, just tell me she's okay. She's fine. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. And God bless you. Come on. Get you inside. <clears throat> oh, Ow. Oh, hey, hey there. You Starting really to... Busted your head open. Starting to get a little oh, weird. Okay. I... On where? This seems like a terrible idea. Why am I willingly going through this? It's all right. You just relax here. I'll keep you safe. You rest up and heal. Ethan's gonna treat you right. Can't carry any more bandages. So much for healing. Go ahead and sleep. This, I don't see this ending very well. Or at all. Like, would you just be able to sleep casually? Because I kind of feel like you wouldn't. How... How difficult would it be to find that crawl space? Please, Blake. Where are you? I'm sleeping in a crawl space.
that same thing again. I ain't had nothing. Righteousness cannot pass in blood by loins, but the blood of your heart. I can't uh -oh. this gospel. I got it a hundred times. If I knew where the outsider was. The prophet don't need your help in finding the devil's whore and interrupt me. No questions even now, other heretics. Who is child. that? God will guide. Uh, that voice again. You sin when you denied the prophet, your daughter. You sin since to deny. Please, please just let me talk to now. Oh. No, way. Oh, the outsider is. His seed begat the enemy. God and the prophet both want. Just let me talk to now. I can explain. God don't hear dead men. Uh. Be still. They're gonna be blood dripping. Take your penance. God loves you. Oh. No, oh, thank you. Should I be leaving? Uh oh I hope you find your daughter. Oh god. I can't carry any more bandages. Yeah, we've made that clear, Chad. Yeah, that's not loud. Not loud at all. Oh God! Not even though she. Thank you. What did she do? That woman, or whatever she is, beat him to death. Something about finding Lynn. Something about a, a chapel. Hmm. Serious things are happening. Um. Let's see here. I guess we can move on from that nice little reprieve of having a friend. Which I feel like in games like this never lasts long. Ever. It was like, I remember when I played Until Dawn, it was like you met that badass guy who was all he was known for was being able to kill the Wendingos. And then the second you meet up with him, he dies. How? You're so good. How does that happen? Right. Um. Kind of forget. What the fuck was that? Kind of forget how to tell how many batteries I have. Thought that was a person. There's one battery. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. To be honest with you on that one. It's kind of following the path. I really don't like those noises. They, uh, they, they aren't very good noises. There's a light over there, so maybe it was over here. There's people. Are there alligators in this? That would suck. Oh, I'm getting exhausted. Getting frame rate issues is what I'm getting. Trying to get over to this. Try to climb. But again, fucking frame rates are going to shit.
Seriously, what is going on here, game? Can you can you just can you climb up that? I think I'm dying. I'm dying because he won't freaking. There you go, buddy. Now you're now you're doing all right. Thought we were gonna die there for a second. The frame rate was going to crap. I don't know why. Assuming because. Uh, no thank you. Fucking Christ. Ugh. What was that? You hear that? Oh, there we go. Nice. Got it. See what that was about. They flayed them, nailed them to wood. She was just a kid. Oh God, it was a child. He's us. I'll do that. God. All right. Oh, good cornfields. Oh no. <laughs> So this is going to be very difficult, I think. Because now... We have these cornfields I think we're going to have to deal with. What was that? Oh, I missed the recording. I guess I was supposed to go all the way up. Ah, uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, what is going on with this game right now? It, it is seriously, the frame rates is just, it's dying. And I do not know why. Alright, so I need to find... Oh, no. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Here we go. That is okay. That is alright. Now, in the cornfield. It's just not good. Fuck all that. Do not like the, uh, shh. Crap. Not enjoying this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. No, no, no. No thanks. Seriously, no thank you on this part. Just crawling through the cornfields. That's all we need. I don't really know where I'm going. This might not be right. Oh. Oh. I like that you can hear the fear in the character himself. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. That's also bad. Can I jump? No. The cactus hurt me. Seriously. Cactus. I don't really know... Okay, here we go. We made it. 
But to what? Really? Who knows? Oh, hi! Seriously, the frame rate in this part of the game is just dying. All right, so we need to get around this this guy somehow. Oh my crap, baskets! This is annoying. Will he hurt me? I just kind of go over here. Just gonna go around you then, friend. Just gonna go around you. I think we're getting in the right direction. Maybe. Who knows? I don't. I mean, I probably should be searching these houses, but... We've gotten to the other side of where she was dragging that corpse. Oh! Hi! Bye! Okay. This is very, very... See, it's not like in the first game, where it was a closed asylum, you sort of knew what was around you when it was around you. And, you know, this, it's, it's a lot more open world, to, an, to, a, to a degree. So it makes that much more difficult to sort of maneuver around. Can I open that? Can I, no, don't hide in the frickin' barrel. Okay. So... Uh, Maybe there's a way through the barn. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get across. Can I jump up here? Can't do that. I also like that he told me where to go, pretty much. See, I can't get around there. Don't really know if I want to go in here. Got a note. We'll read it on here, because I think this is safer. Dear, my dear Judith, I've never been much at putting feelings into words. As you, as my yoke mate, all these years, well, noun. So I hope I can write down what's so hard for a man to say. But I've been feeling your anger and suffering in the lack of relations since we killed little Sarah. It was Papa's will and God's will, and you can't stay mad at me or I'll be forced to be firm with you. With love and duty, your husband, Marcus. Well, Marcus, you got interesting ways of writing, friend. Alright, so I can't go in there either. Am I supposed to get around that guy somehow? I mean... Like, if I go over here, will it be dark enough for him not to see me? Because it's not like he necessarily has a lot of light. So hopefully this works. Seem to. I really don't want to go in that barn. I mean, I know I, ha I know I have to. All right, we made it. I really don't want to go in here, but we have to. Slide it just a hair to get in. All right. I'm glad that worked. I didn't. For some reason, I kind of thought that wouldn't work. <laughs> oh shit! There's people in here. There are some peeps in here. Ooh. I don't know if I like this. <gasps> Let's get away from all that. Oh, okay. I can go. I can go through here. Don't, don't, don't not crouch. Oh, 
Oh, I'm getting stuck. I'm getting stuck on things. May I go in here? Do I need to go in there? Oh. Getting all... Oh, good. Alright, so yeah, we have to go in here. <laughs> I don't wanna. There we go. Oh. Where are we now? Is that... That's literally the outside, isn't it? Where that guy is at. Literally, that's what that is. Why would I do that? That was really loud. Crap. I... Reload the camera, please. This is a very, very stressful situation. Because <laughs> not only do I not know where to go, but I'm starting to... Oh, I don't know where the guy went either. So that's a bad thing. I can't get, I, I can't get through there. Where am I supposed to go? That was the outside. Was this the wrong barn? No, I gotta get up there, I think. There's gotta be some way of doing it. But I just am not seeing. Nope, I don't remember any of that. Oh, don't get seen, don't get seen, don't get seen! Oh. Oh. oh, I see what I have to do now. I, I thought this was something I hid in, I gotta actually move that. That way... Oh boy, oh boy. So what we have to do is move that there. But I need... I don't know where he went. So I'm gonna push this. I'm trying to... Oh, this is bad. No! I got... You're telling me he saw me? Oh. I don't think he can get me though. Because I'm in the corner. So I've sort of done this in the best, worst way possible. <laughs> okay. So I completely lucked out there. And. Ha! Oh. Okay. Alright. <laughs> Somehow we, we did that. Come on, get. The, 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 the jumping is sort of difficult. No, that's the wrong. <laughs> Went the wrong way, son of a bitch. Ooh, I wonder if I could have seen some. Oh, there's a. That's a body. That's a body we just saw there. God. The horror in this is so freaking good. It's something so different than what we've ever done before. Three more were sent today to live among the Scald. Their sores too frigid to disguise. 
They had seven children between them, all of whom Papa Noth has sent with the others into foster into my foster care. I know I I now have more than forty orphans under my wing who love me desperately, as only can a child abandoned by the parents they thought were as natural and dependable as as fact the rising sun as a fact of the rising sun and i love them as i will never have children of my own and have so much love to give when god leaves them too i will be there with comfort and guidance what do these dreams mean i don't know all right let's let's keep going why am i pulling this Oh God! Yeah, don't let's not throw up. But that's that's horrible. Let's not fall down here either. Let's not break. Oh God! That was terrible. That was probably made a lot of noise. Oh, that's a pile of bodies, isn't it? Ugh, I don't even know what those are anymore, but... But, okay, so... I feel like maybe this is a good place to stop. Uh, this game is a lot more difficult than I thought it was gonna be. Like, I've heard it was hard. It was harder than the first game, but... To the what degree that was, I sort of didn't know. So... Um... It's... It's still... It's still one of those things with the horror games where I feel like it's sort of difficult to piece the story together at first you have to find little clues that sort of you know let you figure out what's going on as you play the game um, I sort of need to figure out why I'm having so many frame rate issues because uh, I've noticed it throughout the recording so I'll, I'll look into that on my end because I shouldn't have any problems running the game after all this is the new PC that I just finished building but let me know what you guys think of the game I have really liked this the 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 horror that this game brings is on such a different level it's something I've never felt playing a horror game. The atmosphere itself is so livid, it's so breathing, it's so alive that I literally have panic the entire time I'm playing. It's sort of like when you're the last person or one of the last ten people in freaking Players Unknown Battlegrounds. It's horrifying. But the horror itself is great. I mean, I've never feared other beings like I have in this game because you are defenseless and they are murderous. They're ravenous. And it's just something different. So... Let me know what you guys thought of the game. If you guys want to check out the entire playlist of the la of the first Atlas, you can check it out in the description below. And more horror games will be at the end of the uh, annotations. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Atlas 2. If you guys liked it, leave a like. Comment to me what you guys think of the game and what's happening so far. I cannot wait to play this game and many more horror games with you guys again. So I will see all you guys on the next video. Bye bye.